I'd like you to meet Victor Issa, and he's a sculptor whose sculpture is on display at the Governor's Mansion. Victor also teaches a sculpture class at the Wilbur Claytonia High School, and we welcome him to the morning show. Victor, wh which of the sculptures is on display over the Governor's Mansion? I think we have a couple samples right now that we can take a look at. Uh, the sculpture is Liberty. It was uh, completed in 1986. Okay, we do have a picture. If you want to get a picture of that, guys, this is the one one with the lady. Why, why do you always work in bronze, Victor? Uh, I found bronze to be quite versatile because you're really working with clay first, and then eventually it'll, it'll be cast in a, a metal of bronze. It has a lot of variety for colors um, and tonation, and, of course, it can support a lot of weight on a small point with the material itself, and that's... Uh, gives a lot of flex flexibility with working on that. Now this is really heavy, isn't it? It's fairly heavy. N not all sculpture is solid. In this case, uh, Liberty, part of it is hollow and part of it is solid, but it does it's weigh, weighs quite a bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Liberty, what were you thinking of when you did that? Well, I came from the Middle East, uh, from Lebanon, left the country just before the Civil War started, and have lived in this country since 74, and Liberty was basically my expression of gratitude for the liberties that, that this country has provided me with uh, and our family. And that uh, did coincide with the re-unveiling of the Statue of Liberty in 1986. That's she when I completed it. She is just beautiful. She almost Thank looks you. like to me like a Greek runner, <laughs> you know, with the, at the Olympics in a way, with yeah. her short skirt and carrying the torch. The, the model for that was Kim Smith, who uh, I, I guess she's married now. I don't know her mar married name, but she used to teach dancing in uh, Lincoln. I believe she probably still does. Oh, you and use live models for I your I certainly sculpture. do, yeah, for all my work. This piece, uh, we worked over a period of uh, four or five months. Uh, several hundred hours are, you know, go into mm -hmm. the work of uh, like this one. Victor, are you a citizen of the United States now? Yes, I am. I was uh, naturalized in 1979. Boy, are you lucky to have got out when you did. <laughs> certainly that were. War yeah. torn the turmoil over in Lebanon. Yes, it really is. It's very sad to see what happened to it. Uh, fortunately, the geography of the land, which is one of its main, one of its main features, oh, is still intact. Beautiful. And uh, the people are wonderful. It's the all the outside elements that uh, seem to be stirring a lot of trouble. I wish yeah. we knew more, but we don't. Yes, well, we're glad that you're here in the United States Thank and, you. and I'm, in Nebraska. I'm very glad to be and here. And at Wilbur Clatonia. Well, tell us about the artist in residence program that got you into the Wilbur Clatonia schools. Okay, I applied about a year ago to uh, the Nebraska Arts Council for a program called Artist in Residence, and uh, I was approved, and the uh, uh, artist in Wilbur Clatonia uh, who's Mr. Bruce Beecher, uh, has been very, very supportive, he's very interested in this uh, type of work and he wanted to learn more himself and I'm very pleased to uh, be working with the staff at Wilbur Clatonia. I have about 25 students in three classes and uh, we're, uh, I have also a studio of my own that the school provided me with that I work um, on my own work between classes. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about the Artists in Schools Residence Program is the fact that some of the smaller schools who wouldn't have the opportunity to have, for example, a sculptor come in now get that because of this right. program. So it's really remarkable. What what process do you go through when, when you're casting? Do you start drawing? Do you draw it first, Victor? Yeah, I, uh, after I come up with the idea, I usually hire a model and we go through a few procedures to establish what do you, a pose. What do you pay your models? <laughs> Uh, it varies. Uh, if I, if they want cash payments, that it's five dollars an hour. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> really, I'm just kidding. But sometimes five dollars an hour—that's yeah, pretty good. That's pretty good. But uh, many of them have opted to uh, barter their services for uh, uh, painting or sculpture oh. or something of that nature. Okay. But um, so the procedure starts with a drawing or several drawings usually, and then uh, I have a line in progress here. This piece is made of uh, wax-based clay. It's a beeswax. It's fairly stiff initially, oh, but yeah. as, as you work it, it'll get softer. Mm -hmm. And when, with this, uh, when the piece is completed, then we proceed by making a mold uh, of, of two materials. The plaster you can see on the outside, and then the inside part, which is what, uh, brushed onto the wax original, is a polyurethane elastomer, uh, liquid rubber, and it stiffens into a fairly uh, nice consistency. Mm -hmm. That provides for any undercuts that can be removed easily. And then the mold itself will key back together. And then at the foundry, they will pour wax into the uh, openings. Uh, the wax coats the insides of the mold. 
giving us about a quarter of an inch thickness, and that's generally what the bronze will be. This is the procedure. This procedure is called the lax, lost wax process. Mm -hmm. uh, and then after the wax is uh, pulled out of the mold, it's cleaned and dipped into a ceramic batter uh, and into sand. How long does that process take? About a month on a good on a good fast it's, foundry. Although it could take up to two really months. This is really heavy. This what, if solid. I were to buy this, what would this cost? This particular piece is selling for eleven hundred dollars. Eleven hundred dollars. Okay, you would take Visa and Mastercard. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, but I will. Oh, they're really beautiful. Yeah. You're leading us in going to Colorado. Yeah, unfortunately. What are you going to do there? Uh, Loveland has established a very fine community of sculptors. There's about forty artists that have uh, moved to the city, and um, there's a, a large mm -hmm. number of foundries also that are established there, and uh, I've been in contact with some artists. That well, Nebraska's loss is Colorado's gain. <laughs> Again, we're glad you're in I'll the United States. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing what you know and can do with the, with the students down at Wilbur Claytonia. Thank you, Victor. Thank Isai. you very much. Good luck in your sculpture, sculpturing down the road. Thank you, Leah. Okay, thank you very much.